Good morning. It is the eighth Sunday after Pentecost, and we are going to uh, do a service of the Word and Sacrament to look at a couple parables of Jesus. So let us begin with our opening hymn, I Am Jesus, Little Lamb, hymn 740. I am Jesus, little lamb, ever glad at heart I am. For my shepherd gently guides me, knows my needs and well provides me, loves me every day the same. Even calls me by my name, day by day at home away. Jesus is my staff and stay. When I hunger, Jesus feeds me, into pleasant pastures leads me. When I thirst, he bids me go, where the quiet waters flow. Who so happy as I am, even now the shepherd's lamb. And when my short life is ended, by his angel hosts attended, he shall fold me to his breast, there within his arms to rest. We turn to page 213 for confession and absolution. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Beloved in the Lord, let us draw near with a true heart and confess our sins unto God our Father, beseeching him in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to grant us forgiveness. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. I said I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord, and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. Let us then confess our sins to God our Father. Most merciful God, we confess that we are by nature sinful and unclean. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We justly deserve your present and eternal punishment. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. In the mercy of Almighty God, Jesus Christ was given to die for us. And for his sake, God forgives us all our sins. To those who believe in Jesus Christ, <clears throat> he gives the power to become the children of God and bestows on them the Holy Spirit. May the Lord, who has begun this good work in us, bring it to completion in the day of Jesus Christ. Your sins are forgiven. Amen. We continue with our psalm for today, which is Psalm number 125. We will read it half verse by half verse. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved but abides forever. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people from this time forth and forevermore. For the scepter of wickedness shall not rest on the land allotted to the righteous, lest the righteous stretch out their hands to do wrong. Do good, O Lord, to those who are good, and to those who are upright in their hearts. But those who turn aside to their crooked ways, the Lord will lead away with evil doers. Peace be upon Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We join together in the Kyrie found on page 944. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. 
Christe eleison, Christe eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. We sing praise to the Lord, the Almighty, hymn 719 as our hymn of praise, or 790 as our hymn of praise. Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation. O oh, my soul, praise him, for he is your health and salvation. Let all who hear now to his temple draw near, joining in glad adoration. Praise to the Lord, who o'er all things is wondrously reigning, and as on wings of an eagle uplifting, sustaining. Have you not seen all that is needful has been sent by his gracious ordaining? Praise to the Lord who hath fearfully, wondrously made you. Help has bestowed, and when heedlessly falling has stayed you. What need or grief ever has failed of relief? Wings of his mercy did shade you. Praise to the Lord, who will prosper your work and defend you. Surely his goodness and mercy shall daily attend you. Ponder anew what the Almighty can do, as with his love he befriends you. Praise to the Lord, O oh, let all that is in me adore him. All that has life and breath come now with praises before him. Let the Amen sound from his people again. Gladly forever adore him. We turn back to 214. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, give us an increase of faith, hope, and love, that receiving what you have promised, we may love what you have commanded. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.